Great Barrier Reef and Whitehaven Beach, Australia. Diverse aquatic species include leatherback turtles and clownfish, the Great Barrier Reef needs no introduction. The world's largest coral reef system composed of over 2,900 individual reefs and 900 islands stretching for over 2,300 kilometers over an area of approximately 344,400 square kilometers, 133,000 square miles. The Great Barrier Reef can be seen from outer space and is the world's biggest single structure. Made by Living Organisms Whitehaven Beach is a 7km stretch along Whitsunday Island, Australia. The island is accessible by boat, seaplane and helicopter from Airlie Beach, as well as Hamilton Island. It lies across from Stockyard Beach, better known as Chalkies Beach, on Hasselwood Island. The Great Barrier Reef is the world's largest coral reef system composed of over 2,900 individual reefs and 900 islands stretching for over 2,300 kilometers over an area of approximately 344,400 square kilometers. The reef is located in the Coral Sea, off the coast of Queensland, Australia. The Great Barrier Reef can be seen from outer space and is the world's biggest single structure made by living organisms. This reef structure is composed of and built by billions of tiny organisms, known as coral polyps. It supports a wide diversity of life and was selected as a World Heritage Site in 1981. It is famous all over the world, for its colorful corals and fascinating fishes. Finding Nemo is almost guaranteed here, in real life, Nemo, the wayward clownfish from the Disney movies Finding Nemo and Finding Dory, would be pretty easy to find. The adorable little orange and white clownfish is just one of 30 clownfish species that inhabits the Great Barrier Reef, living in large numbers among the corals and anemones. The easiest way to spot Nemo for yourself is to sign up to a diving or snorkeling trip or set sail in a glass-bottomed boat. The reef is huge, at 344,400 km square, the Great Barrier Reef is around the same size as Finland. That's 16.5 times the size of Wales and the equivalent of 70 million football pitches. Not only that, but it's the largest living structure on Earth so large in fact that it's also the only living structure on Earth that can be seen from space. The reef is made up of over 900 islands, when it comes to islands, there's a plethora of choice on the Great Barrier Reef. Not all of them are inhabited, or have much more than a patch of sand and a smattering of forest, but all of them will live up to your desert island ideals. Lady Elliot Island, the southernmost one, is known for its turtles and manta rays, while Lizard Island is home to Australia's northernmost island resort and rather swanky it is too. If you want to explore a few you could try island hopping the Whitsundays, where you'll also find the legendary Whitehaven Beach. There's a huge diversity of life the Great Barrier Reef is home to 10% of the world's fish species, including snappers, wrasse, and coral trout. But it's not just about the fish, 10,000 dugongs, 30 species of whales and dolphins, and six species of sea turtle live here, as well as 215 bird species and 5,000 types of mollusk. You'll also find 17 varieties of sea snake, 134 sharks and rays, including the fearsome great white, plus the occasional saltwater crocodile. It's a World Heritage Site, the Great Barrier Reef was designated a UNESCO World Heritage Site in 1981. In fact, it is the only place on the planet where two World Heritage Sites sit side by side, together with its neighbor the Daintree Rainforest in Cape Tribulation. This gives rise to Cape Tribulation's advertising slogan where the rainforest meets reef. Furthermore, in 1997, CNN named the Great Barrier Reef as one of the seven natural wonders of the world, along with the Grand Canyon and Mount Everest. The reef is 500,000 years old, yes that's right. The reef began to form over half a million years ago, 
when sea water temperatures had increased enough to allow coral to breed. The corals grow at a rate of 1 to 25 cm per year, with today's reef made up of newer corals thought to be around 6,000 years old, growing on the dead older corals. Rising sea levels around 20,000 years ago allowed the corals to grow higher, forming the caves and reefs we see today. The reef is pretty shallow, good news for divers, the Great Barrier Reef has an average depth of just 35 meters. Most corals and fish grow near to the surface where there's more light, allowing snorkelers and scuba divers to explore at leisure, especially along the inner reef. If you head to the outer reef though you'll find out what Nemo was talking about when he feared the mysterious drop-off, as here the continental shelf drops over 1.2 miles into the dark waters below. Please subscribe to our channel, and like and share our videos. Please add your comments in the comment section. Please subscribe to our channel, and like and share our videos. Please, subscribe to our channel, and please, like and share our videos. Please add your comments in the comment section.